true crime until we say and everything else. World of YouTube. Wanted to step aside from the true crime to go about a story I looked up today because it came through from the graveyard shift. I'll tell you, this is one um, website I like to have. And, um, the Smurl family was tormented by supernatural forces that withstood intervention by a demonologist. And, of course, this is, uh, Lorraine, I believe, and, um, the Warrens, right here off to the right, family to the left, and, um, I don't know, I can't remember their damn names, but I had um, looked into this town of Wyoming, Pennsylvania. Mind you, coming from a coal miner's town, being a coal miner's town, and uh, not only that, oop, um... living out there by the river, a river, that, uh, I forget the name of it, but that exists along the, uh, shorelines of this town. <clears throat> of course, the first thing I always look up in these towns is Native Americans. And sure as SHIT, Native Americans were very lively in this area, especially a British attack with 300 or 700 Native Americans that uh, happened throughout Wyoming and um, this town that they lived in, which is called uh, Shoot. Tap on this article. But due to the fact, and I have reason to believe that being a coal miner's town, very close to the river, uh, I, I believe that this. These attacks were made by Native American spirits because not only, you know, the uh, land out there was sold by Native Americans, but it says in this article that I'll remember to try and remember to put into the thumbnail that um, I believe, oh no, not this article. It's a Native American article of Wyoming. So I gotta remember to put that in because it's not this article. But land was literally sold by the Indians to the white men, as what they'd call them back in the day. And supposedly the white men got the Native Americans drunk. Yeah, that's right, drunk. And um, they weren't really right in the state of mind to realize of what they've done. You see how Native Americans, why they got very infuriated with the white men back then. Because when white men came to this land, natives treated them like, you know, hey, whoa, nice to meet you. And everything got turned around and stabbed in the back with the needle and the knife. But, uh, I believe this house and where this location is, the hauntings got so bad, yeah, it says in this article that they, uh, believe this is the house right here. I would love to go in this area of this house. And I bet you any, any, any money that, um, this could be on Native American dwelling or burial grounds. 
Because, you know, the whole town, like I said, was a coal mine. So you're digging up that land back in them days. You're digging up a lot of lost souls. And obviously they got very angered, I believe. This is my thoughts, theories, and ideas. Things I realized that, uh, you know, anytime I go through a ghost story, I gotta check the land. And I could say, eh, I could say about 60, 70% of the time, I could be right that the land was disturbed and raised the spirits of the Native Americans and really peed them off. So I can just imagine what this house was built on. And, um, it was a duplex. The husband's parents lived on one side, they lived on the other. First instance of ghostly visitors were be, uh, with, uh, were beginning. Bending? That's the, what the hell? A tool would go missing. A stain on the wall would uh, seep through the paint. So I mean, and what makes me believe that this was Native American spirits doing it. When they first move in the house, ha, ah, it smelled like rotting flesh. So though the article does not speak of dead bodies found, that's only one indication of Native Americans talking about skinwalkers. They too have the smell of rotting flesh when they are near. Mind you, I've driven by a lot of places where I live and uh, smelt rotting flesh coming from the woods. Whether it be a dead animal or not, I'll tell you. I didn't see nothing, so. <laughs> and like I say, I'm going to put it for damn sure this place is infested with portholes. And that's what they say exist out there at the Skinwalker Ranch in Utah. The portholes, people. What I believe skinwalkers transport. The magnetic energy the spirit gets. And of course, that spirit was a human being. And um, a witch doctor, as you call it, a shaman. <clears throat> so I'm just about to say this place, man. Even, even Long Island, I was thinking about this the other day. You know, the Amityville Horror. Now Long Island, too, was infested with Native Americans. You know, these are things that I've forgotten. You know, these are things that people don't look into these days. That's why I say, I, I believe, and I did look into something about Long Island and how um, natives uh, did live, of course, around the waterways. So, I mean, that being said, you can just imagine what the Amityville Horror was built on. You know, they say it's the gateway to hell. I think it's more than that. It's just the spirit world of the natives and a curse. That's what I think. My strong opinion. But this Wyoming, Pennsylvania. And yeah, this house. I can just imagine what lies beneath the grounds. And there was a huge, like I said, battle throughout this area. A lot of dead people. So, you know, but I like to dig into this stuff and always look into the background of the history of the town for natives. Because, honestly, I think all the land, of course, that was taken, and I believe this land was cursed. Because they got ripped off, excuse me, ripped off for their land, you know. But... I like to share these type of stories because it's very interesting to me. And um, I would like to go out there and investigate 
the paranormal activity. That's right, folks. It's another thing I like to do. So, with that being said, I think tomorrow, in the next few days, I don't know, I'm going to try something. And, um, I came up with an idea for my escaping the madman. Ha <laughs> ha! And I can't wait because this ma, uh, this ma, God damn, I need a drink. <laughs> <clears throat> this thing I made for my little shortcut movie will be 100% complete I mean there is some adjustments I want to try doing to it but right now it's complete and I'm just going to use it the way it is but I just came up with some I've been rolling in my head what to do next because of course this is a short film and I'm um, trying not to run it out too long and make it too boring but I just figured something out. And I think it's going to work out nice. So. Can't wait to complete this little movie. <laughs> and I think I might just do more on it. But I don't know. Or another movie. Figure it out. I don't know, it rolls around in my head. Got all kinds of ideas, but no time. All the time is bad and bad. The other day, I think it was yesterday, I was sitting at the friggin'. Yeah, it was yesterday. I was out there in Worcester because son had to go break his damn arm at the skate park. And the day before, he took his cast off which my kids have some demented thing going on in their heads when they get casts on. For some apparent reason, they like to saw the damn thing off. It's like, what the hell are you doing? And I've had three sons so far doing that. It's like, what the f... <laughs> yeah. There it goes, it out there in Whistler. Fun, fun, fun. And mind you, the appointment that was made wasn't even yesterday. It's like, what the hell? But yet they sent the paper and my wife put it in the phone. Weird shit. Anyways, thought I'd share this story. I'm going to take myself a screenshot. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm going to take a screenshot with Flo. Why the hell is Flo coming up? Good old Flo. I'm surprised she's not doing a commercial for Progresso Soup. <laughs> Close enough to Progressive. Progresso. Get your insurance and your soup together. Jesus Christ, oh, man. But I like to share these stories because I always like to honor the Native Americans. Of course, I'm still in the search of how much Native I've gotten in my blood. And I can feel that it's spare world is, is calling me, so I gotta get back to some ghost hunting. After I do my little movie clip. I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to get somewhere I can't say. Because I went there the other day. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And it had a sign on the door. No trespassing. No photos. And, um, what the hell else did it say? 
and no trying to get in. It's like, okay, you think your little thing's gonna keep me out. What I gotta do, <laughs> I gotta get dropped off for. But I'm gonna see if I can get that done within a week. Cause I'm, I, I can't let this play, because when I went there the other day, I'm sure you'll figure it out what I'm speaking of. But I'm not gonna say nothing. I don't want to get in trouble. But when I went there the other day, I got a real, real evil vibe. Oh, man, I got some kind of vibe there. And it was, you know, it wasn't sunny out, but it was very light. And when I did turn and look down the part of where I was, it, it looked like it was black. It was just dark, this dark feeling, so... Oh, I can't wait to get into that place. Like I said, I can't reveal it. I'm sure you'll figure it out when I get there what it is, but I just got to be careful because I don't want to get arrested. So, but I am going there because I got that feeling, boy. Oh, and when I get them feelings, I know damn well something's there. Just like this place. I look at this picture, I get that dark feeling too. And it ain't just because I read the story either. It's because you can see it. When you have that ability, you can see it and you can feel it. So that being said, folks, be safe, take care, always beware, and always believe. Because I think this next place I'm going, I'm going to get some good stuff. <laughs>